Hello, this is a tutorial for Midas NFX Designer Mode. I will show you how to perform heat stress analysis on a PC board using Midas NFX Designer Mode. So just let's switch to Midas NFX. And this is the model I will use. So it's a simple model which represents a PC board with some components on it. The first thing I will do is to assign some material to all these components. So for that, I have to create some new materials. So I just click on Add, and I will choose into the library and add some steel material to um, the components which are on the board. So I will use steel to simulate uh, these components. And for the PCB, I will search into plastic in the material library and choose PCB material and click on OK. Now I have to uh, assign this material to all these parts. So for that I just uh, select the geometry. So click on board, right click and I will assign the PCB material. Now um, by shift and selecting like that you can select all the parts and right click you can assign the steel now you have to assign uh, some kind of contact between the parts and the boards be because we will make an analysis combined between thermal analysis and stress analysis so we have to fix them so just use the auto contact provided into Midas and effects select all the parts, select welded, click on OK and it's done. And you can verify it, go in the walk tree and click on each um, contact pair and you will see uh, the contact on the screen. Now the next step is to assign some um, uh, boundary conditions. So you have to click on support and I will just fix all these holes. So for that, go on the front view, uh, sorry, go on the top view and um, select the holes. So here I have three holes, six holes selected. Uh, OK. And click on fix and OK. And now it is fixed. You have to assign the gravity to, click on gravity, verify that it's in the right direction, click on OK. Now we will begin to assign some uh, temperature, heat generation and heat flux to our components. So select here the icon temperature into the thermal load analysis. and we will first select these four components and assign a temperature of 80 degree again we will do the same for these components with a temperature of uh, 50 degree now we will assign the heat generation to the big part which represents the power on the board so click on heat generation, select this part and enter value 0 0.0003. Okay. Now enter heat flux. So we will choose heat flux here. Select the surface of these four parts and enter the value for the heat flux. Now we will assign the convection load to the board. So click on convection here. And you have to be careful uh, to select only the surface at which are in contact with air. So not the surface which are between uh, the board and the components. So in order to do that, 
you select directly all the faces on your model then you select the front view and click on unselect mode this is a bit tricky you have to select the rectangle exactly uh, at the right uh, position in order to unselect the faces uh, which are inside now it's done you didn't saw it but uh, with the number of surface here you see that the right number is selected now for the ambient temperature enter 40 degree and the film coefficient will be 2 e minus 5 click on OK now you have to mesh all that so um, click on auto mesh select all the parts and we will use the hybrid mesher so hybrid mesher basically give you hexa mesh and tetra mesh combined you can increase a bit the accuracy uh, of the calculation by increasing the number of elements click on OK and all the parts are meshed at the same time okay now we will create an analysis case click on general you can enter name and choose steady state thermal stress now just click on OK analysis result and we will perform the analysis now you have to wait till the end and you see it's very quick because it's only took three seconds so basically you have the temperature distribution here you have the solid thermal gradient resultant solid heat, heat flux resultant and you see there are two subcases the first one are the results from the heat transfer and the second subcase is uh, the thermal stress analysis so here you have the stress which is caused by the temperature increase so of course here the deformation has been increased using the auto scale you can uh, make it come back to the real scale to view better uh, and if you want to see uh, more clearly the contour you can use a fringe view like that and check the contour line so here the maximum uh, of displacement is obtained at the middle here uh, if you view the solids for the stress on the components and the board mm, you can use the clipping plane to cut it like that if you want to, to see uh, inside the component for example or the base of the components there's another way you can also directly go to model and uh, you can hide the components you don't want to see basically you can hide all and only show the board and you will see a uh, distribution of the stress only uh, on the board okay thank you for uh, watching this tutorial for my and effects